Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 21st, 2022. Only a few days away from Turkey Day, and we have an interesting week shaping up here with likely some light choppy volume coming our way due to the holiday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market this week. Well, first off, you know, if we were to pull back here and draw a line down here, we notice that we have broken out above that downtrend here in the diamonds, which is bullish for the market. But my, oh my, have we suffered some interesting wide range challenge here or a wide range chop in this market with about 700 points between that high and that low in that chart. And if we notice right across here, one of the things we're working to deal with here is a very significant level of price resistance in the chart. As you can see, there is just plenty of evidence in here around this price level that is adding some challenge here for us to pop through. Now, last week we had quite a little bit of inspiration, bullish or bearish inspiration on the economic calendar and a pretty significant number of earnings reports. Unfortunately, this week, those earnings reports are starting to dwindle. We do have a few, a lot of retail in there. So not exactly the big market moving reports that we would see. And throughout this week, we're likely going to see volumes decline with very little on the economic uh, calendar, except for Wednesday, where they pile everything in all at once. So kind of an interesting week ahead as volume is likely to decline as traders and investors head out for their holiday plans. So what does that mean? Well, if we take a peek here at this chart, if we can find some bullish inspiration here in the market, remember we're starting to build a pretty substantial level of price resistance in the chart with all of this consolidating chop that we've seen here this morning. So if the bulls find some reason for inspiration, then watch for that resistance to come into play. On the other hand, if the bears find um, some inspiration, well, uh, we've got support in here to be watching for to see whether or not that can come into play. We'll also want to keep in mind that we have had quite a substantial rally here to the upside, meaning that pretty extended in that short term and we're trying to slip out from underneath that here just a little bit. So we'll want to watch this pretty carefully because if we were to start sliding lower in here then we run into that lower high risk that could come into play. And the reason I bring that up is there is a little bit of uncertainty in some of these other charts we're going to take a look at here. And we can expect those volumes to continue to climb. We've already seen lighter than normal volumes and they really could diminish pretty sharply as we move throughout the week, meaning that we could end up in a lot of choppy uh, market conditions as well. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. SPY very much the same situation except that SPY has not been able to get up out of that downtrend. So unfortunately the Dow right now is the only index that's been able to break that downtrend and we still have these substantial resistance levels in the chart in the SPY to deal with. So if we find some inspiration from the bulls then we would look for an opportunity to maybe break through some of that resistance here in the chart and uh, push on through um, up toward that overall downtrend. If the bears find that inspiration, well, we realize that we have got a little bit of price support in here that we held on to last week, but um, we'll see whether or not that can continue this week. Now, in the very, very short term, if you'll notice right here, we do have a little bit of a problem where we broke this support 
in here rallied right back but that is a little teeny tiny downtrend that could form since we have a little bit of bearishness starting here this morning and if you take a look at our trend depending on how you draw that our trend is out here you could draw that trend up through here we're still holding on to that bullish trend but just keeping in mind that overall downtrend is still in play here on the spy if we take a look at our qqq qqq has even a little bit more challenge ahead of it as you can see we're uh, quite a ways away from our downtrend here in the nasdaq and if we were to look for that inspiration here in the chart well once again there's that upside in here that's a fairly substantial resistance area in the chart and we do want to notice that if we were to pull back here well, we've already kind of shaken that tree here just a little bit of that price support. We failed that right there on Wednesday or Thursday, um, but bounced right back. So kind of keep a close eye on that level with this bearishness that came in here a little bit on Friday. That could be a lower high, and if we were to drop down below there, then we could actually see that NASDAQ drawing us a little bit lower. We really don't have much of a trend here, as you can see in the chart, until we establish this higher low. If we can establish a higher low in here someplace, well then maybe we will be able to resume that upside trend to the upside. So a little bit difficult chart um, showing that just uncertainty i think in the market uh, ahead and then if we were to take a look at our um, russell old iwm well uh, kind of the similar situation where we've got that resistance up in here that has been challenging us in the chart we struggled just a little bit on friday we possibly put in a little higher low here possibly we've got some support down below here but you'll notice that we've already failed right here in the friday price action in here we rallied to that resistance level and pulled back if we get a little bit more uh, bearishness coming in we might want to watch this price support right in here if we were to follow this uh, little downtrend here to the downside that could bring in a little bit of pressure or pain in the chart and then last but not least we still have that upside trend here depending on how you draw that that could save us um, um, that support level here if they can hold on but you know it could be an interesting week with diminishing volumes so just kind of be careful with your trading plans this week and it may be wise just to stand aside and say you know what, it's a holiday enjoy my family step away I don't have to take the holiday volatility risk Go do something else the market will be here when you come back let's take a look at our vix now our vix um, rallied up um, here on that little bit of fear on thursday we popped up into that downtrend but just completely um, rejected that area back to the downside 23 handles here in the market which is really kind of interesting when we see the challenges out there we face in the market there is maybe building in a little bit of complacency here um, with that rally so we'll want to watch that closely we have resistance here in the chart we'll have to see um, if um, the bears decide to test that level then we'll watch and see if we can even break through this um, uh, that that downtrend here in the chart but if the bulls continue to hold this market up well let's look for some support right here in that area of the chart to see if they can hold in that area the downtrend is certainly in favor of the bulls right here in the vix no fear right now in this market if we were to take a look at our t2122 T2122 also kind of reflects that no fear situation here, but we remain pretty darn extended. You can see on Friday we rallied up substantially here. In fact, one point in time we were up in this area. So it may be a little bit difficult with, on a declining volume week to find enough inspiration to push us on higher. But if we do, we've got a little bit of upside room to go here before we run into um, just that extreme overbought condition here in the market. However, if those bears find inspiration, well, it's clear to see we have 
plenty of downside opportunity that could show itself if we run into a little bit of bearish um, attitude here on this week. So watch that carefully. Pullback could be substantial and it could be relatively quick, like overnight reversal type quick um, in, in a market like this. So just be careful on how you trade and make sure you're not over trading a holiday week. If we take a look at our T2108, well, our T2108 had a little pullback in it, but boy, no harm, no foul here in this chart. We still have to give this up to the bulls. Although we are stretched up here pretty high in the chart, which suggests we should be expecting some kind of rest or pullback at any time, there has been no major push to the downside yet. So we've still got 71% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. You'll notice we've got some support in here that could hold us if we do pull back a little bit more so keep an eye on that bulls are in control rt2107 showing us the very same thing we pushed back up here on friday heading into the close 44 percent of our stocks holding up here above their 200 day moving average and we have some price support in here so that if we do get a little bit of pullback in the chart we've got some price support maybe to hold us in that move now let's take a look at our t2101 well our t2101 kind of hooked back over here again we we may be running into just a little bit of lack of momentum here in the market where we were moving back up in that move and now we've kind of tipped to the other side again so i think we're just lacking that momentum and it really wouldn't be a surprise to see those volumes decline pretty sharply this week and that momentum also continue to um to suffer just a bit so just watch that close and then if we continue to uh, move on through here and we take a look at our economic calendar well my goodness our economic calendar is going to be a light one this week um i we will likely have some um, sensitivity to news reports um this week it's kind of typical on holiday weeks but um um uh, as far as the economic calendar goes, we're kind of dead. We got Chicago Fed national activity this morning. We got a couple of bond auctions in here um, to be paying attention to that could move us around. We've been seeing those bond prices or bond yields kind of sneak back higher again as um, uh, those economic numbers have been a little bit concerning. But um, as you can see, we've got some Fed speak here coming in on Tuesday with a few more bond auctions going on but not much else richmond manufacturing in there that's not likely going to be a major market mover and then all of the major reports are piled in here on wednesday so we can expect some volatility on that wednesday morning with durable goods jobless claims pmi uh, new home sales consumer sentiment petroleum status and then we continue on with natural gas report and the fomc minutes later in the day it could be a wild and woolly wednesday um, albeit a very sharply declining volume day as everyone will be heading out with their travel plans to go visit family for the holiday and then keep in mind thursday the market is shut down friday the market will be open um, but they'll have early closes on the day so expect volume to be extremely light now as far as the right way option service and the hit run candlestick service just kind of keep this in mind as we move throughout this week wednesday i will be here i will do the morning market prep but there will be no right way options class during the day in fact it'll be kind of a hit and miss situation i'll just be in and out um, i would expect volumes to be very light very choppy price action to occur after the morning open and then of course we're closed on friday uh, excuse me on thursday and then on friday um, the trading rooms will be open but i don't plan to be um, uh, doing any morning prep um, and I probably won't be around much at all just simply because volumes are going to be so light and choppy so um, let's take a look at our um, 
our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar has a little bit on it this week, but we are seeing those earnings diminish pretty sharply um, as we move on, you know, kind of winding down the earnings season here. But we have a few earnings today to pay attention to. Um, let's take a look right here. We've got Allegiant, we've got an airline reporting. Looks like they're trying to pop up here this morning. Gap down a little bit lower, but trying to pop back up and we've got some resistance here in the chart to be paying attention to. Um, we've got Dell. Dell reporting here today. Keep an eye on that. It's been holding a higher low pattern. Um, watch that little upside trend. We might have that opportunity that could pop on higher here on that report. We've got uh, Schmuckers. SJM will be reporting today. Looks like we got a big old pop and drop here in the pre-market on Schmuckers. Watch that close. Um, we've got uh, some Jacobs Engineering in here popping and dropping first thing this morning. LI. Also in here, we've got Weber that will be reporting today. And last but not least, we've got Zoom Mobile that will be reporting today. So keep an eye on those. Now, clearly not, all, not many of these are major market movers. So remember, and unless you're holding that chart, it's not likely they inspire a whole lot of buying and selling in the overall market. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to do that and those folks that are going through and clicking those thumbs up buttons on um, other folks' comments that helps as well thank you so much guys um, I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to be doing your own due diligence. You need to be thinking very, very carefully about um, the, the way you approach a, a holiday week. Volumes could drop very quickly. You could expect an awful lot of choppy market conditions and even have really substantial overnight reversals and gaps in the market because of news events that can occur over the evening. So with that in mind, be kind of careful here on how you approach the market this week. Now let's take a look at a couple places. Now I've been holding uh, TLT. I'm still down on this trade in TLT as a matter of fact. I've just been kind of nibbling in as it moved down. But let's keep an eye on this pattern. You can see TLT has started to reverse that, that move back up. Now one of the things that could help this dramatically. We've heard those reports that um, the Treasury may start selling some of their low interest bearing uh, bonds in favor of buying some higher interest rate bearing bonds to help the market here a little bit. And if they can create a little bit of a market under these higher interest bearing bonds, then um, they can get the banks to start moving some of the money out of the overnight repo over into the bond market and pick some of those up. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. I, I'm not suggesting that this is gonna just take off to the, to the top side here, but I do like this break of downtrend here pattern. If, if we get bearish here in the market again, if we see those bond yields continuing to rise, well, this could certainly pull right on back, but I'm watching this closely for that longer term. And I think there's a possibility that eventually we're going to see TLT just rallying back up here, at least somewhere up here into the middle of this range, which could be substantial. So be careful, watch that charts one I'm holding and plan to hold for the longer term. Let's take a look at maybe some shorter term plays here in the market. Take a look at TTWO. TTWO to me is looking pretty darn short here in the market. You can see obviously downtrending here in the market. We have rallied back after gapping substantially lower here on our earnings report, rallied back to our resistance in the chart. And now we're seeing that bearish and that potential rollover here. So I'd 
look for a little bit of short um, opportunity in TTWO. It's not looking very healthy here at the moment. You might also want to take a look at some of the stocks like LMT, um, Lockheed Martin, breaking through this big resistance up here. We've had some volatility here last week in it, dropping hard and then rallying right back. Now the question is going to be, this could go either direction. The question is going to be if we're going to use this as res um, resistance or as support. So watch this closely. You could maybe catch the lower high in here for a short trade. Or if LMT decides that it can hang in here on support, recovering that support could set up an upside opportunity in um, LMT. So keep a close eye on that. Kind of an interesting chart the way that one is developing. Take a look at some of the defensive type sector stocks out there. Coca-Cola. Coke's been hanging in here pretty nicely. Nice little platform consolidation in here. Sliding out toward trend. This might be the week that Coke decides to hold this area in here and continue to move on up. Now we do have to recognize there's quite a little bit of price resistance in that chart but some of those defensive sector stocks are looking pretty good you can take a look at pepsico as well pepsico has been sneaking back up here toward these highs you can see that we've broken out of that resistance in the chart been quite choppy right in here but we do have that opportunity that we might see enough bullishness to push on through and then maybe see some more upside here in pepsico if not Keep a close eye on that resistance. There's a triple top possibility. And if we fail and produce some kind of lower high, I would say look for the pullback to occur in PepsiCo. Take a look at some of these pay system stocks. Um, SQ, SQ moved up pretty substantially um, the last couple of weeks. And now we're pulling back to test some support in the chart. Now I've got that support pushed a little bit too high. Um, as you can see that there's a little bit of price support right in here on that chart. I'd be watching to see if this can hold this support level in here, maybe catch on to a trend right in here and then have that upside opportunity coming in. Now this is really gonna be dependent on whether or not the market believes we're moving into a more substantial recession or if we're actually going to get that Santa Claus rally that could help some of these pay system stocks. So be kind of careful here um, for um, your trading. And then if we take a look, there's PayPal out there. And, you know, um, holiday season, we see a lot of spending and we've actually been seeing credit card um, um, debt running to new record highs. But watch this in here. PayPal broke that downtrend and we might be losing it here in that chart. We're going to need that bullishness to come right back in and hold that area here. If PayPal continues to fail in here, you might catch a lower high and a failure on down here in PayPal. Taking a look at other places in the chart, I got to tell you, NVIDIA has been holding up pretty darn well. I expected a little bit more volatility around its earnings report that wasn't all that great but as you can see we're trying to find some support here in this chart now maybe right in here we could pull that down right in here a little bit more in that chart and that really would match that trend a little bit better look for that opportunity if nvidia can hold that higher low well, we might actually see some buying come in there and push that chart up. Um, AMD might be another one to be paying attention to. As you can see, AMD finally got a little bit of legs under it here, holding a little bit of price support, a little choppy. Notice we've got that little lower high in there. May have to consolidate a bit more here before it can get moving, but I think it might be worth keeping an eye on for that potential upside move if we can get those bulls inspired. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to thank you so much, so much for having, uh, um, showing up and watching these videos and for your kind support of this channel. I really, really do appreciate it. I want to wish you guys all of the best. Have an awesome, awesome week. If you're heading out for your travel plans, I want to wish you all the best this Thanksgiving season. Travel safe. We'll see you right back here in the Right Way Options room just as soon as you get back and all filled up on turkey. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.